Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to Double C Down Home. Say hi, Riggs. Wrigley, say hi. So, um, hey, Scout. So, no, get down. Get down. Get down. You can't be up here. So, um, it is officially Christmas break at our house. Um, good grief. Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to Double C Down Home. So, uh, it is the beginning of Christmas break at our house, and uh, sickness has hit our house the last couple of weeks. Man, if... <coughs> <coughs> well, hey, everybody. Welcome to Double C Down Home. Hope everybody's having another great week. Um, so, it is officially Christmas break at our house, and so... Um, We've got the next couple of weeks. I will be here a little bit and seeing family some. And um, this flu, man, it is rough. We've uh, it's it's uh, gone through our house the last couple of weeks. Dax had it all of last week, and uh, I've pretty much had it all this week. This is day five or six for me, and it's really kind of the first day that I'm upright. Um, and doing much of anything besides laying on the couch and uh, running fever or coughing or hurting. So um, it is nasty. So if you haven't had it, I hope you don't get it. Um, if you have had it, bless you, because it is rough. So uh, Kristen's not feeling great right now, so it may spend the whole rest of Christmas break going through the other people in our house. I hope not. But that's definitely a possibility. But anyways, um, so... I'm going to be spending a lot of time here at the house, um, taking care of animals, and um, we always, over Christmas break, we try to keep jerky around, and so I'm going to kind of walk you through that process, I guess, too. Uh, we make our own jerky, so uh, it's a recipe I got from my grandpa, um, and so we, we make our own jerky. Um, Dax's deer is at the processor. It's ready. We just haven't picked it up yet, um, but we've got... Um, deer meat in the freezer from deers from the past too. So um, we're going to get some of, some of that thought out and uh, make. I've, I've made usually starting about Thanksgiving. We we try to keep jerky around the house for a while, and um, we, I made twelve pounds a few weeks ago, and that didn't last very long. So um, we're going to get some of that made this week too. Um, we got a real big cold snap coming. Um, several days below freezing temperatures wind chills below zero and so um probably tomorrow we will uh kind of move the cattle and get them in a place where um, they can eat and be less affected um, by that cold snap so um got got several things going on around here um like i said i'm finally feeling better dax is is back to his old self and and hopefully nobody else gets this nasty sickness so um anyways we'll uh let's go get some uh deer meat and uh, get the jerky process started So that will soon be thawed, and then we will turn that into, into some luscious jerky. So we've got the deer meat thawing out, and we just had to, before we could thaw that out, we had to uh, clean up a mess. I don't know what kind of medicine company puts cough syrup in a glass bottle but it was in the box. Um, hadn't, we hadn't even opened it yet on our, um, one of our hutches in our living room and it got knocked off onto the ground, bottle busted. We didn't know that it was glass. And so we set the uh, box of cough syrup back up on the hutch and I went to get something off of there and the entire thing was covered in cough syrup. Sticky, nasty cough syrup. So lesson be learned always check your 
medicine bottles to see if they're glass or plastic. Also, told you that uh, I've been sick the last few days and haven't been sleeping very good. I've been having to sleep in the recliner upright so I don't cough um, during the night quite as much. And I get up in the middle of the night and I go to the bathroom and what do I find? A clogged toilet. How in the world? I, I, don't, I don't even know how that happens. I'm 42 and I am positive that I've never clogged the toilet up. I don't understand how that happens, but for some reason, whether it's at home or in our camper, um, it, <coughs> it happens fairly routinely at our house. I guess maybe if you have three kids, um, I, I don't know. I don't know how that happens. Wake up in the middle of the night and um, do a clogged toilet. So guess what? One of our kids got to learn this morning how to unclog a toilet figured out which one did it, and they got to learn how to plunge and unclog a toilet. So life lessons being learned over Christmas break. All right, so we went to the store, got uh, some brown sugar and some orange juice for the, uh, for the jerky mix. We, got, we went also and got some, uh, some seasoning um, we use the High Mountain seasoning from, uh, you get it at our local Atwoods. I know they have it at Bass Pro and um, different stores like that too, but we use um, the local Atwoods started carrying it, so that's the one we use. So we got um, Cajun blend, sweet and spicy, Hunter's blend, and hickory. So um, not sure yet which one we're going to go with. We'll decide here in just a second, but um, got four pounds of ground deer meat here. And then we're gonna get all this mixed up together and it'll marinate overnight. And then um, tomorrow we'll get up, put it in the dehydrator, take it about five hours in the dehydrator, and then we'll be ready for a whole lot of, four pounds of goodness is what it'll be. So, all right, here we go. All right, so we've got all the ingredients mixed in there. Now we've got to take and mix all this up. Be sure and don't do this with a wedding ring on. I've done that before and had to go in and find the wedding ring in the middle of the meat, so be sure and don't do that. takes just a little bit just to make sure that all that gets mixed in there good you pour it all just on top there it is we'll put it in the refrigerator all right so we'll leave that in the refrigerator overnight let it marinate real good and then like I said tomorrow we'll stick it in the uh, dehydrator um, like I said we use high mountain Seasonings out of Wyoming. Um, get it from your local Atwoods, uh, Bass Pro, different things like that. Their seasoning is is uh, really really good. Been using it for years and years, and uh, it's one of the best. So um, that's it. That's it for uh, tonight. All right. So now for the fun part. Our meat has marinated overnight. 
got our dehydrator ready, our gun ready. So we will get it filled and we'll get this thing turned on. And about five hours later after church, we're gonna have some luscious jerky. So there you have it, a dehydrator full of good seasoned ground deer meat. So we'll put the lid on it, crank it up on high, five hours from now, all kinds of goodness, huh? Dax is ready for church, good work. So we'll come back after church and uh, take it out, cut it up, give it a taste test. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yep. You're being quiet. <laughs> All right, so the five hours has gone by. Got that uh, thing is ready to go. So it's time for the Taste test. We got some taste testers here. All right, so they, um, heard taste test and so we tried i don't know if we ever had this kind or not sweet and spicy none of these three like anything spicy so dig in traver they've already started what's the sweet and spicy like not spicy not spicy sweet good more sweet like it yeah Good flavor? Uh -huh. There you have it. That's, uh, well, we gotta put a little bit more in the smoker or in the dehydrator, but that's um, part of most of four pounds. It's probably three and a half pounds there that won't last very long. These that guys will, will go by yep, fast. yep, yeah, it'll be I gobbled up pretty quick. Spice, yeah, it's got a little bit of spice, but not bad. So there you have our deer jerky making process, pretty simple. Um, and ours consists of um, orange juice, brown sugar, teriyaki sauce, um, the spice, uh, the, the high mountain um, jerky spice. So we said we got it at Woods and um, water and mix all that up. And uh, it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, like I said, I got it from my grandpa. I'm not sure where he got it, um, but been making it for years and it's pretty good. Um, you just got to make sure in between each use, clean everything out good, um, get all the, the extra uh, meat and everything um, off of all the utensils and the gun and all that stuff. But um, been working for a long time. It's pretty good stuff. So if you've got a, you know, I know there's a lot of different ways to do it. That's the way our family does it. Um, if you've got a, a recipe or ingredients that are in your jerky, comment down below and let us know. I'm always open to trying new things. So um but uh, that's all I got for this video. And uh, like our channel, subscribe to it, um, like the videos, and uh, keep watching. So as always, love God, love people, go make a difference.